how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear beautiful friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a jamaican lady by the name of christine who found love on online dating apps after two weeks of joining and she found an american guy his name is adam so dear friends we all have been learning from all success stories that i've been sharing here in my channel so as today's love story you are going to enjoy a lot because it is very very interesting you will also learn lots lots of things as someone who is on online dating apps searching for love searching for that right man this story is perfect for you if you have been there wondering you attempted to join online dating apps but still you have some questions you're asking yourself still you are not sure if you should join online dating apps i want to tell you sit down with a cup of tea a glass of wine a glass of juice some popcorns and enjoy this video because it's gonna answer your questions that you have been asking yourself as someone who wants to join online dating apps not forgetting you guys that have been saying i'm not finding love on online dating apps maybe because of my job by watching this video this story you will get answers if your job is stopping you from finding love so without wasting much of your time they say i talk too much <laughs> let us jump into this story and by the way guys before i forget or before i jump into this video it is good for you to know that this couple has got an interracial youtube channel their channel name is the bake family please go follow them support them you know we always learn from each other i'm gonna be putting the name here or here of their youtube channel they are also on instagram their instagram account name is the underscore bay underscore family i'm gonna be putting it here or here again so that you can follow them also on instagram i always get your questions you guys wanting to know if the couple has got a youtube channel or an instagram account now you have the answer let's jump into the story so friends christine found love on online dating apps when she was in america already but i cannot just sit here and tell you yes christine was in america during online dating apps and then found the one <laughs> no guys we know christine is jamaican so that takes us to know christine's background and a little bit of her past love relationship experience how was it like was she dating a jamaican guy was she dating any black guy was she dating any white guy <laughs> before her online journey we need to find out i always tell you that we all start from somewhere so let's dig deeper to know christine's background and her past love relationship experience so dear friends christine's story starts when she was 19 years old in jamaica immediately after finishing high school tells us she comes from a very humble background so she couldn't afford to go for her father studies but luckily found a job in america to go work as a nanny so dear friends another thing you need to know about christine she is a christian lady but not just a simple christian lady no guys a very religious lady tells us she is a church girl so at 19 went to america started working as a nanny but her dream was to go for further studies christine tells us yes she was in america working as an immigrant didn't have a green card meaning she's not an american so wanted to go for further studies but couldn't be granted aid or any financial grants from the government had to save from her little salary as a nanny and take herself 
to the university. So she started the university taking associates in liberal arts degree. Tells us it was needed only two years for her to finish her degree, but due to law funds, remember the little salary as a nanny, it took her five years to graduate. So friends, what do we learn from all this? We learn that no matter your situation, no matter the challenges that you're going through right now, if you have your dreams, do not sleep on them. Don't put excuses for not achieving your dreams. Yes, it will be hard for you to achieve your dreams due to some circumstances, but always put efforts always work on them and you will surely achieve them so friends now let's go to christine's love life christine tells us she could go to work go to the university and also go to church because she is a very religious lady a church girl so time went by and felt like wanted to try dating a guy so from this guy he was black they started dating Everything was going very, very good until this guy started wanting their goodies. <laughs> so after wanting the goodies from Christine, Christine is a lady who doesn't believe in sex before marriage. You have to get married first and then the goodies after marriage. <laughs> yeah, so told this guy, I'm not ready to have sex before marriage. This is what I believe stood on her ground and that led to their breakup. So after that relationship failing, Christine remained single and, you know, was still searching, yes, <laughs> in real life, not in a desperate way, no, could go to church, hoping to find a guy maybe at the church, nothing, <laughs> at college, nothing. She was there single and tells us just before the pandemic in 2020, was at college and had this classmate who used to have lots of dates in a week. So she could be like, on Wednesday, I have a date with this guy. On Thursday, I have a date with this guy. On Saturday, I have a date with this guy. So Christine was there wondering, asking this friend, where do you get all these dates from? <laughs> while I am here single with no one, <laughs> no dates. So kept on asking this friend, where do you meet these men? Where do you get them? Eventually this classmate told her, I meet them on online dating apps. When Christine heard that, she was very, very shocked. <laughs> So Christine was in a shock and tells us the reason why she was in a shock is because she is from the Caribbean and online dating wasn't her thing at all. Had a very negative feeling towards online dating <laughs> due to the bad things that she has been hearing about online dating. Ladies meeting men online and then these men take them somewhere and bad things happen to them. Kill them, you know. So she responded to the friend, you know what? I am not interested. If you get them on online dating apps, then I am not interested at all, at all. <laughs> So after Christine telling this friend that I am not interested, of course, giving her the reasons to why she wasn't interested, this friend told her, you know what, Christine, listen, it is totally safe. You're going to put your pictures up and they will put their pictures up. So if you go through a guy's profile, you don't see their pictures, don't talk to them. So her next problem was, I've told you, she's very, very religious. So Christine was like, I don't think it is right for a Christian, a Christian lady to go on online dating apps, look for somebody. For her believed that God should bring the right partner into your life. You start talking, then start dating and after get married. But going on online dating apps thought it is against the will of God as a Christian lady. Then guys, Christine had another problem again. <laughs> she had lots of problems. Actually, there were questions that she was asking herself as a Christian lady. She doesn't believe in sex before marriage. Her problem was, will I get a guy on online dating apps who will accept 
to wait till marriage because for her you find a guy you talk then you start dating you get engaged then get married after getting married that's when you share their goodies <laughs> yeah so she was like i don't know so guys what i have to say about christine's friend she really showed her the way she was a very good lady told Christine, do not worry. Yes, you can find a Christian guy on online dating apps. Just put your religion. And even if you put your religion that you are a Christian, then a guy comes and tells you, I am a Christian. I'm interested in you. Then comes with sex talks. You can always pull away. So you being on online dating apps as a Christian lady looking for love doesn't affect your Christianity at all. Because in real life, you're not finding anyone. Better try on online dating apps. Also, this friend added that, Christine, you know your values. So you should be able to stand for them regardless it's online the ball is in your hands and that's true guys i've been telling you this when you are on online dating apps you are the one who will accept a man to play with you yes because if you see a guy has got things that you don't want or is telling you things that clearly shows that a guy is a player why should you keep on chatting with that guy or you are chatting the guy he doesn't show much interest in you you exchange phone numbers but he checks you once in a week why should you chase this guy better move on the ball is in your hands guys so after this friend talking to christine she looked at her and was like you know what this girl is right started being very excited was ready to open up a dating app <laughs> so this friend told her you need your five best attractive pictures and Christine tells us had a friend in Manhattan who used to hang with her out during the weekend and take her cute cute pictures <laughs> so she had those five very attractive pictures to put on her profile the friend kept on insisting that the ball is in your hands you know what you're looking for in a man if you go to a guy's profile you see his job his religion what he's looking for in a woman if it is not what you're looking for even if they write to you don't respond you can just ignore them so christian was like oh yes the ball is in my hands i don't have to talk to anybody that i don't like so they downloaded that dating app christine and the friend who was showing her how to do things on online dating apps also told her how to know a guy is a match oh my god that was a very very good friend because not everybody will have time to tell you all that information you know and some will just tell you i have dates and won't let you know where they find those guys <laughs> so that is why i'm saying she's a very very good friend so after downloading that dating app i'm gonna be sharing with you the name of the dating app before i end this video so watch till the end so when they downloaded christine was very excited and then started chatting with guys online so she kept on chatting with guys online and time went by but no one was serious at all also another thing that it is important you guys know christine did not pay for that dating app though they suggested to her that if you want more matches in a day then you have to pay she was like i don't believe i'm gonna find anyone in here so i am not going to pay i'm just going to take what they are offering me for free and that is why i've been telling you if you don't want to pay just appreciate what the dating app is offering you use that and you're gonna find the one this is a vivid example guys so christine stayed in that dating app for two weeks and then one day received a message from an american guy his name is adam so when christine received his message of course had to go to his profile <laughs> to see this guy's profile he tells us he didn't have lots of pictures <laughs> had only two pictures one he was holding his cat but you couldn't see his face clearly 
and another photo he was smiling wearing a jacket very very handsome and Kristen told us it was like a saving grace <laughs> but at first glance she was like maybe i should remove this guy's request on my screen but tells us she had like a voice talking to her thinks it was the holy spirit god talking to her that just respond to him he is a good guy and that's when christine had to listen to that voice and respond to adam so after responding they started chatting but christine tells us they could chat no more chats you know nothing like i love you <laughs> anything like that no just basic questions like how are you how are you doing how is your experience here how has it been going you know have you met anybody <laughs> you know just like that so they kept on chatting like that basic questions and then it reached a point whereby they started getting into each other's conversation <laughs> so when they started getting into each other's conversation adam told her you know what i like what you say i think we should exchange phone numbers and get off this dating app christine accepted and after exchanging phone numbers adam told her i want to make a video call see you and make sure you are who you say you are <laughs> if your photos on the app matches you on the video <laughs> christine was okay with that so they made their first video call after three days of meeting online and when they made their first video they were really happy to see each other because christine's photos on the dating app matched her face and adam's photos on the dating app matched his face so their conversation kept on flowing christine felt very very happy talking to a potential person so they kept on talking and then adam told her listen i want us to talk about this before we go further i am dating for marriage i'm not here to waste my time or waste your time if you're looking for something casual just let me know so that we can go separate ways we don't waste each other's time when christine heard that it sent a very strong message that this guy could be the one so she responded to him i am dating for marriage too and was happy that a guy is taking initiative because most of the times you find that it's a lady that is dating for marriage and the guy isn't so for adam talking about that really showed he is serious and he is the one if you see that in any guy that you're chatting to on online dating apps start taking him seriously so they kept on talking making video calls and they did that for two months christine tells us it was during the pandemic everywhere was closed they didn't have where to go <laughs> or what to do but because they really wanted to meet each other <laughs> you know guys when you're chatting with someone online it reaches a point you want to meet that person and confirm if what you feel will be the same when you meet them in real life so they decided to talk about meeting and adam suggested that christine should go to his house he invited her to his house for their first meeting christine accepted was very excited but at the same time very very nervous because told herself i don't know this guy very well <laughs> so the day came for adam to come pick christine at her house <laughs> then take her to his house and she prepared herself you know as ladies you know looking beautiful it's the first meeting <laughs> yeah and after preparing herself started looking at the window all the time if adam has arrived <laughs> so she waited and waited then yes adam arrived and when he arrived came out of his car 
Christine immediately wrote his car numbers and sent them to her friend. Told her friend, you know what girl, I'm going out with this guy. If anything happens to me, just know I went with him. <laughs> that was a smart thing to do. And the reason why she did that is because they were meeting for the first time. She was taking a very huge risk. I told you when you are on online dating apps, <laughs> <laughs> you have to be ready to take risks but don't just take risks while your eyes are closed <laughs> listen to your intuition too christine tells us she listened to her intuition yes she could feel like i'm taking a very huge risk but deep inside her heart felt at peace and was very sure she's gonna be fine with him but sent his car numbers to her friend. So Adam started walking towards her door <laughs> and tells us when she saw him, oh my God, he was very tall, very handsome, looked way, way better in person than his pictures. <laughs> and he was so white. <laughs> So tells us it was her first time dating a white guy and started being nervous, asking herself lots of questions like, what are we going to talk about due to our culture differences? <laughs> and I can relate guys, even last time when I was sharing Zenzo's story, when she was waiting for the boyfriend, she was like, oh my God, I've never been with a Muzungu, a Muzungu, this is a Swahili word, <laughs> meaning a white guy. I don't know how it's going to be. I'm so scared nervous and people are like calm down he's just a human being <laughs> just like you but guys the truth is it's a new experience someone that has never you know being even close to a white guy yes that first time you get scared you start asking yourself what are we going to talk about how is it gonna be oh he might not like me <laughs> i can relate <laughs> You know, when I met my husband for the first time, I couldn't stop staring at the color of his skin. <laughs> it was a whole new experience. And even when I came here, <laughs> I kept on telling him, oh my God, there is too lot Muzungu around. <laughs> I'm not used to this situation. So it is totally normal. It's not that you're praising someone or anything. No, it's because it's a new experience. <laughs> Yeah. So after reaching her, they hugged and then she followed him to his car, took her to his house. When they arrived at his house, he cooked for her. They ate, they talked, played games. You know, everything was really, really good. And while playing games, <laughs> that's when Adam stole a kiss. And he stole a kiss because he knew Christine wasn't going to kiss him on the first date wasn't such kind of a girl who kisses on the first date but him kissing her also sent a very positive message to her that okay this guy is interested in me because deep inside her heart was like i don't know if a white guy will ever be interested in me because a white guy and a black guy they've got totally different interests towards a woman the things they're looking for into a woman <laughs> so it was a very good indication and i told you guys when you meet your guy for the first time, you have been dating on online dating apps, let it be you live in the same country or you live in different countries, different continents, and then you meet for that first time, just observe the way he behaves towards you. It will show you that if that guy is really interested in you or not. Because <laughs> some guys will meet you for that first time, they will never hug you. Some guys will meet you for the first time, they will never steal a kiss, just like the way Adam stole a kiss. No. Some guys, they will meet you in person for the first time and they won't want even to take a selfie or a normal photo <laughs> with you. <laughs> you need to observe everything into details it really means a lot and it will tell you a lot if the guy is interested or not so guys the day came to an end 
and goodies lovers i'm so sorry <laughs> no goodies were shared though christine returned home safe and sound <laughs> the day ended just like that they kept on communicating you know building their relationship and after three months of dating that is when adam told her i just want to let you know that i really like you very very much and i want us to be exclusive i am not going to date anybody else i'm not going to look around to other girls i've found something good in you and i wanna pursue it he was also honest told christine that i was talking to another woman but i have ended it i talked to her and told her that i have found someone and i think it's really a good fit. I want to pursue it a hundred percent. If it doesn't work out, I will let you know. Then the lady was like, okay, I'm going to be waiting for you. <laughs> when Christine heard that, she was like, no girl, this one is mine. He's not coming back. He's not going to come back. <laughs> you can wait all the time that you want, but he's mine completely. <laughs> and I like that. As a woman, you should be confident of yourself. <laughs> no matter the guy you're chatting to is chatting with, I don't know how many girls, <laughs> if you know you are a full package you are very confident in yourself you don't need to worry at all <laughs> as long as that guy got a chance to chat with you he's gonna be yours <laughs> so after telling her all that he officially asked her to be his girlfriend christine accepted was very very happy and then months after he consists his love towards her. So after eight months of dating, Adam introduced Christine to his father and then later on to his mother. Christine did the same. I told you if a guy introduces you to his family, then there is no problem for you to introduce him to to your family always go with the flow <laughs> and those of you who wanted to know if adam was spoiling christine in their relationship yes he was spoiling her very very much buying her gifts taking her out and one special dinner date they talked something very very important and from this you are going to learn a lot so to this special dinner date adam invited christine to a dinner date she went and then they ate after eating started talking you know as lovers <laughs> when you tell each other sweet words i love you so much i'm happy to be with you <laughs> thank you for the night you know for the dinner yeah so as they were talking romantically adam took christine's hands and asked her these important questions so friends adam asked christine while holding her hands that christine i know you are a nanny here in america as an immigrant but i would like to know what are your dreams and what are your goals in life because i know you have them so what are they tell me so christine responded that my dream is to be a doctor in the future and adam was like that's great christine if everything works out between us then i don't have any problem of supporting you financially so that you can achieve your dream so guys christine tells us that really meant a lot and made her fall in love with him the more because adam saw things that other people did not see in her so that she was intelligent she was a smart woman and had dreams and goals in her life looked beyond her being a nanny and knew that because she is smart because she's very intelligent with the right help she will get there so apart from her being a nanny Adam saw that yes, she is a nanny, but she has got dreams and ambitions in life. This is very, very important. Guys, I've been telling you there is a video I did of what to look for into a husband or into a man when you are on online dating apps, that man should care about your dreams and your ambitions and even if you get married that guy should support you achieve your dreams not making you give up on your dreams this is a vivid example 
of a good man, a husband material. <laughs> and Christine is lucky to have him. So friends, when you find a man, let it be on online dating apps or even in real life and love you regardless. The work that you are doing, that is a keeper. Because Adam loved Christine regardless she is a nanny and that's very very good that's genuine love so for those who have been saying i'm not finding love on online dating apps maybe because i am a nanny maybe because my job i am a housemaid guys that doesn't have to do with love I've been telling you a guy who looks down on you just because you are a nanny or just because you are a housemaid that guy is a loser and is not looking for love trust me so stop putting all the blame on you on your job <laughs> and keep moving forward till you find the guy who will love you regardless you are a maid, regardless you are a nanny, regardless of the job that you are doing. Another thing I want to add on this, you know I've got enough experience when it comes to these guys on online dating apps. I'm happy Adam asked Christine about her goals, about her dreams, you know he knew she was very very ambitious in life. <laughs> Yeah, because some other guys, you can be chatting on online dating apps, everything is good, 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 they say they like you, and then one time out of nowhere, they start asking you, what do you bring on the table? <laughs> what do you have to offer in this relationship? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Like, seriously? <laughs> If a guy asks you such kind of a question, just block that guy same, same day. So friends, they kept on dating and Christine tells us that Adam wasn't a Christian. But because Christine is a Christian, was able to bring Adam into Christ, teach him the word of God and eventually Adam gave his life to the Lord. This is really, really good. And Christian said, it is very, very important. I tell you this, please, ladies, do not be scared to bring your partner into Christ. And while you are on online dating apps, you should go there with a very positive, open mind. Even if a guy is not a Christian, cause you are a Christian, you can stand on your values teach this guy the word of God, show him the way, bring him to Christ. It is very, very possible. They are a vivid example of that. There is another story I shared with you of a Tanzanian lady who was chatting with a Dutch guy. That Dutch guy never believed in God. <laughs> <laughs> he was not a believer, but because Happy was a believer, a Christian lady, very religious, praise to God, was able to bring that Dutch guy into Christ. They started praying together, share like gospel songs, enjoy a guy showing that he loves God. And I'm also adding to Christine's advice of you guys going with an open mind. I've been seeing lots of you in your profiles. <laughs> Some of you that have got a chance to see your profiles, you who are working with me. <laughs> so you find a lady sends you her bio and then on her bio, she's like, I'm looking for a very religious man, <laughs> a man who prays. <laughs> guys, I always tell you just write, I'm looking looking for a guy who is a human so that you don't make men run away from you <laughs> from your profile because <laughs> the guy sees that and is like I'm not all that religious but that doesn't mean the guy is bad you getting to know him if you get a chance to know him maybe he is a good guy maybe that guy will turn to be a very religious guy by you showing him the way to the Lord so they dated for one year and after one year adam asked christine to be his wife wedding bells <laughs> christine was so happy said yes and they started planning for their wedding but unfortunately it was 
still the period of the pandemic so they had their wedding at the court it was a court wedding didn't have lots of friends and family around but next year they are planning to do the official wedding ceremony an intimate one with few friends and family congratulations to you christine and adam i wish you all the best in your marriage i know you who is watching this video you are like but bella i haven't heard any challenge that christine faced in her relationship <laughs> she faced some challenges guys and one of the challenges she told me is that some people could say that she is not his level because he was a therapist and Christine was just a nanny. She tells us in the Caribbean culture, even in Africa, guys, when you start growing up, you know, you reach that age of dating, parents start pairing you with someone who is very successful in life, maybe a doctor, maybe an engineer, <laughs> a professor, you know. So Christine tells us that wasn't her thing at all she was just a nanny but because of love guys you know love always wins <laughs> no matter what you say if a guy really loves you he's not gonna listen to anyone he will still be with you he will still marry you so friends christine tells us after getting married remember she was working as a nanny and was in america as an immigrant that is why even other people saw that she was not qualified to date other doing minimal jobs but she had to do those minimal jobs the basis jobs it wasn't her choice but she didn't have a green card so after getting married adam helped her get her green card also helped her financially to finish her studies she graduated god is good in 2021 got a degree in associates in liberal arts congratulations girl <laughs> after that she was able to get a normal job work legally and achieve all her dreams also right now she is in pre-med school wants to be a doctor adam is still helping his wife oh my god you're such a great guy adam and god bless you so guys quickly to her advice her advice number one is go with a positive attitude on online dating apps and also keep it in mind that you can meet your partner on online dating apps you can also meet your partner elsewhere maybe in the street who knows also be open to try something different what does that mean you are there maybe you are looking for a tall man very handsome but maybe god sends you a very short guy who will love you to the moon and back so be ready to try something different her second advice is not to give up on online dating apps because it's only god who knows how long it will take you to find the one some people are lucky they find love very soon online but some people it takes very long to find love on online dating apps she gave you an example for her she went in america when she was 19 but look when did she find love she found love when she was 28 another example is of adam adam met christine when he was on online dating apps two to three years can you imagine <laughs> so god brought the right woman into adam's life after three years of being on online dating apps so just be patient guys this is my advice to you all my dear beautiful ladies from this story what i have learned and i've been telling you this if you are on online dating app searching for love, you are chatting with a guy, make sure you point out the signs of a good guy. Just like Christine, she was able to point out the signs of a good guy in Adam when he started asking her very, very serious questions like, what are your goals? What are your ambitions? When he said that he is dating for marriage, not to play games, that was a sign of a good guy. And when Christine kept on seeing good sign 
of the guy who is the one, she started believing in him. But if you go out there, you start chatting with a guy, he talks of serious things, and then you're like, no, maybe he's just like, you know, <laughs> the ones that played me. No, just pay attention, please, dear beautiful ladies. That way you will be able to find love. So guys, luckily I got a chance to ask this couple some questions. Why did you fall in love with him? Why did you fall in love with her? So I'm not going to talk. We are going to see them answering me that question. Hey guys. Hey guys. Um, so yeah, so we were asked to do a short <clears throat> video about the things that we love about each other. And I'm gonna go first. So for me, I really love how patient he is. Okay, so before I got married, I always prayed that I would meet a man that reminds me of my father. My father is a very patient guy. He's very quiet. He's not very talkative and he's not very easily angered. And I always loved that. I always felt like that takes great character and that takes great restraint for a man to be like that. And I always said, you know, in my prayer to God that God, I'd love to find that mm. specific quality in a husband. You know how they say boys look for some qualities of their moms in their wives? It's the same thing here. So I always pray for that. And thankfully, <laughs> I found that to be true in my husband. So I'm very grateful for that. So that's one thing that I love about my husband. <laughs> Am I supposed to say thank you? <laughs> what, what, what are you looking at me? Thank you. No, you, know, you can go ahead now. Um, I, I, what I love about her is what I, I think I've been in the very first video that we ever made uh, about us. I think we were kind of tackling a similar topic. Yeah. And uh, I'm going with that. I'm still going with that because what drew me to her was communication. Her ability to just say exactly what's on her mind. She's not perfect. Now there, there are times where, you know, um, she can't quite tell me what's on her mind, uh, which, you know, that's, but that's normal, right? At least she can tell me or I can recognize, okay, those are those situations. Uh, but I know like eventually I'll find out what's going on, right? Uh, I just, I don't have to guess with her. I don't ever have to, and it's, it's just, so, so just so much less stress that way. Like, let me, let me uh, I don't even know how to put it into words other than what I just said already. It's just awesome. So that's the, that's the main thing. That's definitely the, the, the main thing. thing. Yeah. That we love about each other. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll say more. I think maybe she, 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 she would want us to say more. Okay. Um, maybe one more. All right. All right. Um, mm -hmm. so another thing that I love about my husband is that he's very honest. He's very truthful. Like from the get go, you know how difficult it can be. Like when you're just getting to know someone to let your guard down, you know, to trust them. And with my husband, like I always had a sense that I could trust him. Like he always told me the truth. You know, even the hard things, the embarrassing things, you know, he would tell me. And, you know, I always appreciated, appreciated that, like, how truthful he is. Like, for me, <laughs> there are so, if, if it were me, there are some things that I wouldn't say. You know what I mean? Like, tell a white lie then. He doesn't do that. Like, he just tells me the truth, like, straight on. And I appreciate that in a husband. Am I allowed to steal from you? I mean, this is like very related, very similar to sure, yeah. the first one that I said. So it's about communication, right? Mm -hmm. That's something else that, yeah, it's, it's right next to her clarity is, stands her willingness to just say what is uncomfortable. You know, I personally, I'm the kind of person that I would rather if, if, if you're having an issue with me and you're like, Adam, it's because you Okay, let's just say like you and I were, were, were hanging out. Would you, if my breath is killing you, like murdering you, would you tell me? Like she would just shoot it. 
immediately she will tell me. She she will not hold back things that might make me uncomfortable just to I don't know avoid the discomfort of the situation. You know, she 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 won't do that. Unlike unlike many people, I think uh, a lot of people do that. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about this. So if there's an issue, I, I don't have to walk around guessing. You know, like I don't have to guess. I just I just know. And so I I can walk freely. The fact that she'll come to me and tell me what's wrong or tell me the issue or just speak up means that I can walk around freely in my in my life, in my day to day, and not worry, not, not try to guess like, oh, is she this way? Oh, uh, what if I, did I say that wrong? No, I just, I know, I can just be me. And I know if I stay, if I veer outside the lines, she'll, you know, she'll, she'll let me know. And that it has been just, you know, like, a, I, the image that comes to mind is like when you kick your feet up, you know, you kick your feet up on the couch and you just relax, you know. That's what I feel like uh, being with her has been uh, to me. Thanks to that, I, I think those, some of those attributes, somewhere in the communication region. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot more that we could say, but she only asked for like a minute. I'm sure we've gone over it. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. We'll, we'll splice it down. Yeah. You'll splice it down. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Bye. See you later. So dear friends, I really hope you have learned something from them. But if you have more questions to ask them, you can go to their YouTube channel. They have got an interracial couple YouTube channel, which goes by the name of The Bake family please go and support them they are such a great couple with lots of things to learn from them so to the big question which dating app christine met adam they met on hinge i did a video i think one year ago whereby i talked of hinge that you guys should try out hinge if it works in your country then why not give it a try so i'm going to be putting it here here or here so that you see how it's written thank you so much guys for watching this video till now god bless you if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good don't forget to comment below what you think about this video subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao